Hey everyone, today us here at FWFS would like to do a little uh, tutorial video in a sense. This will be uh, the Jelly Roll Race to the Finish quilt. This will be participating with Moda's Project Jelly Roll. It'll be featuring Moda's Cheer and Merriment Jelly Roll. This is gonna be a cool little video because all of us guys here from FWFS will have a hand in this quilt. It's just gonna be, I guess, a little tutorial of us going through and making this Jelly Roll Race to the Finish. All right, to uh, get started with this quilt, basically you'll take just any Jelly Roll that you uh, select. In our case, we're doing Cheer and Merriment. You'll open it up, get all your pieces out. I already have some of these set up. I only pulled a couple out just to show you how this works in the video. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take two, three pieces at a time, whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm only gonna do two. You'll line up the uh, edges together. So like where it's folded over, you're gonna line this up and set it on your cutting mat. Once you get that set up, you're gonna to wanna to take your ruler, uh, line up the end. I'm right-handed, so this might look a little odd. So from here, you're just gonna to wanna to cut off your uh, edges. So I'll do that really quick right here. So there's the two edges cut off. So as you see, I can open this up and you can see they're all separated. From there, we're gonna take it and flip it over to the other end where the selvages are. And you're gonna wanna cut these selvages off as well. So let me line this up here, line that up. And you're gonna cut off your selvages here just like that. All right. So basically you're gonna wanna do that for your entire jelly roll. At this point, if you wanna pause the video or whatever to get those cut, that's completely fine. I will continue on from here and show you how we get going. And I'll be introducing some uh, some other guys from here from FWFS so you can uh, see how we continue. All right, so getting started with this, once you have all your strips cut up, in my opinion, to look best, um, you don't want to see the exact same, like you don't wanna see the strips in order. So like for example, you don't wanna see uh, this strip combined with this strip, you want them kind of be uh, kind of to be randomized throughout the entire quilt. So to do that, honestly, I'm just gonna kind of just start tossing these around a little bit, spread them out a little bit, get them all jumbled up. This is a lot to jumble, bro. <laughs> all right, I think I have these pretty well jumbled up and everything. So from here, I'm going to take two strips at random. So we'll take this one. I kind of don't want another red with this. So I'm gonna take this green one, sure. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, two pieces and you're gonna line them up right sides together. So the uh, actual print will be like against each other like this. And you're going to now line that up on your sewing machine. You're gonna give a quarter inch seam allowance. So if you see here, I have on my machine that says a uh, quarter inch right here. So I'm gonna push this through and line it up uh, right there. From there, I'm gonna press this down on top of that like so, still giving that quarter seam allowance. And then I'm going to start sewing this through, as you see here. Get this all the way through, like that. And then, so as you see here, now I have two pieces sewn together, making a strip like this. From there, you can choose either end. You're gonna just continue repeating that process. So now I'm gonna take uh, the strip that I already sewed together along with another piece, line those two sides right side together, like so. And then once again, you're gonna put that under here, giving your quarter inch seam allowance on here and begin sewing through this one. So we will go through here like so. Still giving that quarter inch seam allowance to where now I have three strip strips sewed together like so. Basically gonna go through the process sewing the entire thing together, which is, um, how many strips is that? You're gonna sew all 80 strips together and it's gonna become this really, really long strip and you'll see what we do from there. So let us continue. I'm so good at this. <laughs> this is how easy that was. Professional, dude. Next. Lever, foot lever. Killed it. It looks perfect. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it looks perfect.
feel like I'm doing pretty good. I'm not doing too bad. Maybe I do a little bit in my spare time, you know? <laughs> you know, maybe I'll give me a sewing machine now. I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. A sewing YouTube channel. Oh, what are you um, going to call it? You know, I just thought about this. That's a big brain idea. Mason's Sewing. I mean, it is really, really easy. I don't know that I'm better than everyone else, but I do know that you saved the best for last. All right, so now that we have that done, we have the entire strip completely sewn together. So it's all 80 strips. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm gonna take uh, each one where I, we have the seam, I'm gonna push it one direction and take my ironing board and iron all of these strips, the seam the same direction. So for example, say I do this seam going to the right, then when I get to the next one, I'm gonna do the same thing going to the right, same with the next, take it and go to the right. That'll uh, make the next step a lot easier when it comes to actually sewing these all together. So yeah, we'll be back really quick after I uh, press all these uh, going one direction. All right, so now that we're done, I have all my seams uh, ironed and pressed the exact same way. So now we're going to take the uh, first one that we did and we're gonna cut nine inches off it. And then now we're going to connect this end to the other end that I have here. And now we have the longest part of this quote, which is we're gonna sew along this entire thing, connecting the entire thing together. So I'm actually gonna let my brother take over that. just like mama taught me. It may have gotten a little twisted here at the end. So as you see here, like mine is slightly twisted. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to figure out roughly where that end is gonna be. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut that directly in half. That way I can sew the rest of the way through. And it's, I, I got a little off. As you see, I got like an inch. That's okay. But then I'm just gonna sew this the rest of the way through. So for now, if we see here, I should have all my strips completely sewn together across the entire thing. So now, what I can do is we can take this over to our ironing board once again, and this time I'm gonna sew this entire seam into one direction. So I'll be back shortly with it all ironed and we can continue from there. All right, so now I have this all uh, pressed, so all my seam is going the right way. It uh, looks pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, so now we're basically gonna, like I said, repeat what we did last time. So I'm gonna take my two ends, which I have found right here, and I'm gonna take the two right sides, place them together, and then I'm gonna go quarter inch seam along this entirety once again. Yeah, so I'm gonna let someone else probably take that over and you'll get to see them be sewing this. This is more fun than I could have ever imagined. All right, so now that I have the entire thing sewed together, once again, going down this entire um, side quarter seam, I'm going to cut the end right here. All right, so now we have this cut and we can open it now like this. So now once again, like last time, I'm going to go and seam across the entire thing. We'll come back, fold it in half and uh, sew it once again. All right, so now that I have that completely pressed out, once again, we're gonna repeat the exact same step as before, where we're gonna take our two ends, put them right sides together, and then I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance going a long ways throughout it once again. I'll go ahead and get this started, and then we'll uh, see who takes my spot from there. All right, so now I have uh, finished sewing through the rest of this. So once again, I'm going to take my scissors and cut this fold out that we just made. Boom, done. So now this should open up once again. So now it's even longer or it's even wider, I should say. So now I'm gonna go take this and uh, like last time, I'm gonna iron this middle seam down and we'll repeat and then we should have a complete quilt top. 
All right, so now I have gone through and I have pressed out that seam to where now we're gonna do the exact, like I said before, the exact same thing. So we're gonna take our um, two ends and we're gonna put them right sides together. I'm gonna take this and slide this under here and I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam all its entire end. And I think we have like two more passes after that and we should have an entire quilt top ready to go. All right, so now that we have finished sewing that seam, I'm going to once again uh, take the end that's folded over and I'm going to cut it open. So let's do that really quick. There we go. So now I should be able to open it up. And now, as you see, it is quite a bit bigger than it was before. So now I'm going to go take this out to the ironing board and I'm going to press down this middle seam once again. So uh, I'll be right back after I finish ironing these seams. So I'm going to take these and do the uh, ends together and keep them right side together. I'm going to sew along that entire strip. Once we cut it open, it should be a complete quilt top. So uh, let me go ahead and do that really quick and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Yes! So now, uh, like before, I'm going to cut this seam open and we will have an entire quilt top ready to show you. So let's go ahead and get that going. Boom. As I can show you now, we have now completed an entire quilt top. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this and uh, just press out this middle seam just to make sure it all turned out and looks good. We have completed the quilt. We are here to show you Finally! It. Slide it in place and show them how it turned so, out. Yes. Pass it on with it. This is, this is the quilt. We finished the quilt top. Mm. Woo! Woo! We did it. So I want to thank y'all all for watching and checking it out. We'll probably do an update video whenever it gets quilted and returned to us. So, um, thanks for watching. See ya!